welcome trombonists. Today, fake notes are the topic of the day. We're going to talk about what they are and how to use them. So if you have tight chops or your sound is lacking that golden focus, those overtones, or you just want to expand your range and you're just not getting the notes, the lower notes especially, then I'd really urge you to check out fake notes and try some of these exercises. So a fake note is basically any note which you're playing on the wrong position. Sometimes for a tenor without a valve, this is essential to get a otherwise valve note. But for today, we're going to use it simply as an exercise to relax the chops and to focus the airstream. It forces both of these things. So check out this exercise. B flat, A, B flat, A. The last A is the fake note. The reason we do this exercise twice is first to get the lower note really well in our ears and then to match it with the fake. We repeat the whole thing but go half steps down, B flat, A flat, then B flat, G, G flat and ending on the F. So here's three tips that should help you to execute this. Focus that airstream through the middle of the mouthpiece. Focus the chops more. Think of like a pencil going into a pencil sharpener. And give a loud crescendo at the end for the last low note. The fake note really needs a lot of air. So let's go through the whole thing together. I'll do it once, maybe you can play in the gaps. So the second exercise is somewhat more advanced. It's from Bart Van Leer's fantastic book, Coordination Training Program, which I heavily recommend as essential trombone literature. He starts off with the descending fourth, which is simply B flat all the way down to F. So it's essential we hear that descending fourth now that we're playing the fake note. What's the trigger tune for this descending fourth? I immediately hear a Mahler song from Songs of a Wayfarer and I think one of his, I think his second symphony, um, or Dances with Wolves. Maybe you have a different one in your ear, in which case use that. But let's really hear that fourth and find it cleanly. Okay, so through all seven positions, play with me or in the gaps that I leave. B flat F to begin with. Deep breath.
extension to this exercise, it makes a lot of sense also intuitively to go down to the pedal, of course. <laughs> In fact, this is a great way to open up that pedal register if you're not particularly familiar with that range. So the third exercise, also from Bart's book, page 37, it's just a slightly more advanced version or a slightly elongated version of what we just did. We have the fourth again, and then we go further down, B flat F, down to a D. So this is basically a descending major triad. So if you do it by ear, you need to understand the triads or be able to find them well, and otherwise buy the book. I'll play the first one once. <laughs> Actually, the F and the D are fake notes, but there's a glissando between them, right? As he gets lower, by the time he gets down to G flat, D flat, he hits the low B flat, the pedal B flat, in first because. You simply can't find the pedal B flat as a, as a fake, or I never have, and presumably he never has either. So from the pedal B flat descending, we're hitting the real notes. Before that, it's always two fakes. So let's go through the whole thing again together. So I really urge you to work at these fake notes. It has spectacular benefits. Which of these exercises work? Do you have any others for fake notes? What's your favorite? And what effect did you notice after trying them, especially for the first time? So good luck with that and see you next time. So the second exercise. Oh.